When they went in, the, the Australian, one of the chefs, before they went to the hotel, one of the blokes said, don't talk to the barman about his no ears, because he gets very upset. So I'm going to tell you, mate. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> then the, and the, the, the first Australian went up and he looked at the barman and thought, well, I'm not going to say anything. And the barman said, what are you looking at? And he said, I was just having a look at your, you know, little thing around your neck. He said, that's all right. So the second Australian went up and he said to uh, the bum, or oh, three beers, please. And he said, and the barman said, what are you looking at? And he said, I'm looking at your shirt, very smart shirt. So that was all right. So the Irishman went up and he, the Irishman said to him, I looked at him between you two and that. <laughs> oh, they're probably tickling me on the bum. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't my daughter, right? That's how I wish I was there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the Irishman went up and he looked at the, the barman and he said, by gosh, you've got beautiful contact lenses. And the, the barman said, did you know I've got contact lenses? He said, well, you must have contact lenses because you've got no ears to keep it clean. I knew you'd love that. Too bad the ice cream. Breaking into botanical gardens and other lasagnas. I told you that. Heard about the Irish paratroops? Paratroop uh, dropped into the Iranian zoo and freed 51 ostriches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. God, that must be old. Yeah, Fran only just 